there, it's Kevin from RubDeckBuilder.com. We're going to try to redeem ourselves with one more game here in a two-man queue. This is a decent hand, Man Like Green Man, Inquisition, Spreading Seas. I'm not going to mull it. It'd be awesome if we had like a, uh, an actual creature to play here. And we're probably going to give it Storm. <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. Uh, against a matchup we cannot win. I don't think anyway. I guess we could reman the right or the right card at the right time, and I guess this Inquisition also helps slow his storm deck down. This also could be Splinter Twin. So Pirate Ritual or Manamorphos is the better card here. I don't even know. I think Manamorphos. Well, he's actually can't even play Manamorphos, but he 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 was able to. He's going to draw a land in this. I don't even... Look at the top two cards. Put one of them. And you're handing the other one on the bottom. Scry two. I don't know. I think Manamorphosis is the most powerful card here, though. The draw card. I don't know. I'll just get rid of a Slate of Hams or a Ser Serum Visions. Stupid Storm. <laughs> <laughs> Spreading Seas does nothing. Yeah. You're going to have me on blue-black control. What a great hand versus anything else. You can Spreading Seas all their sources away. So he gets to draw a card here. I got to think that... No, he Serum Visioned and he didn't find a land. So, get tax and probe. Let's see if you found a land here. I think that this deck runs like ridiculously low amounts of land, like only 18 or something. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but I, I do know that Storm does run very, very low land count. All right, so he's choosing the Serum Vision to try for another land. bottom and top so he must there's his land so he probably gets another land bottom and bottom okay so I don't know what to do here I don't think he can go off next turn so maybe the right move is just the, the heretic because spreading seas does absolutely nothing he has the red he needs Mana leak's okay. I mean, maybe we could mana leak, but I think I I don't know if he can actually go off next turn. He probably can, and we might just be dead in the water. I don't know if land is definitely a, or life is definitely an issue here. Well, let's throw out this heretic. Call it good. And possibly. Be okay. I mean, he's probably yeah. He's okay. Good taxing probe. He's definitely gonna try to go off here. Yep. Just pass the turn to him. See what happens. Cause another land gets in pyretic ritual. Pyretic ritual gets in metamorphos into a blue. Uh, metamorphosis. So Pyretic here, Goblin Electromancer. Okay, we got a turn. Cool. This works. But now I can't can't block. And do I abrupt decay his Goblin Electromancer? Or does he still go off without it? I think we got to try. I think we have to abrupt decay and attack with the Heretic. There's a go for the throat. I think just the disfigure stand. I some storm will use one electromancer, some use more. But I'm gonna just assume he's playing the one. So, all right, slate of hand. He could still go off here. In, in all re in all reality, he could still easily go off and kill me. Uh, he's getting kind of low with look at all the the serum visions, the taxing probes. Those are all very necessary in his deck to storm be able to storm off because there's three sit slate of hands and three serum visions already in the yard so it would be very hard for him he'll just have to go into metamorphosis 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 
So he, I think he might be going for it here. He's got to try. There's three. Okay, so there's, what's his count this turn? Four. Pass in flames? Did he draw a pass in flames? No, it's just four. Got epic experiment three. Oh, well, he hits a he hits a damn good epic experiment. That's for sure. Oh, then he cast that wrong. Why didn't he do the opposite? Grape shot at the end would have done a lot more damage. All right, we'll f six a turn here. I don't know why I'm not f six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's going to be able to, he's going to be able to make a, a ton of mana. I mean, that was a great epic experiment. He hit, he hit the seething song he needed to hit. Eight mana. But he's only got one card in hand, and it can't be an epic experiment. Yeah, okay. We might actually win this. <laughs> I don't know, we could, Spreading Seas, just to draw a card, might be the right play here. And hopefully for another land. Do we risk it? I don't think we do. I think we just remand. Remand anything he plays. Because he's getting quite a, quite barren in his deck. Slate a hand. Uh, can't mana leak it. Damn it. Okay, we could remand it, but pointless. We'll just let him do it. I can't put that guy out. Ugh, ugh, ugh. We need to draw another land. That that Theta is really bad. Does absolutely nothing against this deck. Pair through the depths is going to get mana leaked. But it does put us pretty much. It's only epic spirit for two if he draws another epic. He can't pass in flames anything decent. No Pyromancer's extension so far. And I don't know if he's actually using that version. So I think just the Abrupt Decay stay in. And I take all the other removal out. Put in the Spell Pierces. Alright, that's a that's the best card that he could play. Is a Metamorphosis. See if he can go off again. I mean, he's getting very... No. Okay, yeah, he's getting very barren with cards that are, that are playable. I mean, a lot of his, a lot of his key cards are, are in the bin. This figure's pointless. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Wish we could get a creature to stick for card advantage. And I wish I could draw land. That'd be nice. I mean, Reman's kind of bad now. Doesn't do much. Of course we'll let the Goblin Electromancer stick. And immediately just disfigure it. So he's playing more than one... Electromancer, so maybe the disfigures do stay in, but I, I could I definitely see him actually siding them out next turn All right, there we go. So we got we got the two mana go ahead and spreading seas a sulfur falls So we can draw another card and keep remand up I don't care what he does at the end of turn he can peer here. Just that's fine. So hopefully do the exact same play, unless we draw a land, then we can put the Cold Eye out. Um, we'll go for a Black Guard. That's cool. And keep the Remand up. Wish this puts counters on her when she came into play, but yeah, that'd be pretty overpowered. Don't know about Unas. Pass in Flames. Yeah, you're getting remanded. Which is very unfortunate for us that he's got that. We've got to draw into an Inquisition. No, Inquisition doesn't even hit Passing Flames here. Dismember does nothing. I think we have to Spreading Seas here. 
and hope for... We can pass in flames one more time, or remand one more time. So I'm going to go ahead, throw out the Selk. And we got remand mana up. Get in there at the black guard. And we can remand that pass in flames again. Because if not, we're dead. We are so dead to a pass in flames. All right, one more time. Now there's a mana leak. Which, depending on how he decides to play his Pass in Flames, I could mana leak the first thing, but it's just Gataxian Probe, Gataxian Probe. I'm dead, basically. Well, yeah. Huh. Unless, it's the only thing I could activate 5 6. I could only do 6 damage, though, if I activate the Creeping. I get to draw 2 cards here, though, at least. Hey, another mana leak. That's actually awesome. And he's got his card a card. That's right. He's got his card. Yeah, just one card. So he discards a pass in flame. We draw two cards, two lands. We'll go crack it. Grab a tomb. Is there any do any point to No, no point. No point at all. To paying two life. I mean, I could spreading see something, but that's pointless. All right. So next turn, he's dead. If I can, am able to counter both of these. So I didn't have to worry about that pass and flames flashback. Paradic ritual. I don't think I care about. Another Pyretic Ritual, don't think I care about. Pass in Flames from his hand, we do Mana Leak. I didn't hold I didn't hold a uh, priority there. Did he not pay it? Oh maybe he didn't pay it. Huh. So he's got two passing flames in the bin here. We could go for it. Activate our creeping tar pit and try to win here. And still have mana like mana open. Go ahead and I think we'll lead off with the Inquisition. Oh, he's got nothing. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even see he didn't have any cards. Um, I think we just... I think we just go like this and try to kill him. Yay! That was the first game I've won with, with my, my rogue deck against Storm. And and he did miss pretty bad. Uh, so, these come in. Go for the throats, definitely come out. Dismembers come out. Inquisitions are fine. I'll, I'll probably keep in the disfigures. Do we care about ear, ear, earweak squads? Earweak squads could work. And short fang could work, but I'm thinking short fang is a little, or not short fang, grave robber. I think grave robbers is too slow. I mean, Fata is definitely out. Deathrite shaman's great. Cutthroat's okay. Blackguard's cool. Do we need cloak and daggers or aether vials? 
Spreading seeds, there we go. Duh, spreading seeds are bad. So now we still need two cards. Maybe I will try these earwigs. No better time to try them than now. You can take out three of their cards. To keep first turn death right shaman. Alright, don't go off. I've had it happen on second turn. Okay, nope. So I, I think we keep the... Do we keep the... Manly Green Man open? Or Blackguard could actually... No, I think this is the best. We just we keep the Manly up. And go ahead and exile that. I mean, this is awesome if I could get it off. I just don't dare now with, with him with three lands. Go ahead and grab a breeding pool here. And ship it back to him. And I'm not worried about like a peer, peer of the depths at the end of his turn because it doesn't add to his storm count on his turn. Nothing I can do here at the end. Wow, I'm going to ping myself down. So I do think I am going to blackguard here. Is that the better play? Yeah. And ship it back to him. So he's getting very scary now. I have to remand the right thing here. So a seething song is probably the best option. Oh, he just scoops. No, I wanted to play it out. Aw, that's just sad. Well, I get my first win with, with, with my rogue deck. Put him, you know, one and three. And beat Storm there. Kind of luck out against him. Um, I don't know. Storm, every time I play Storm, they seem like they, they go off either second or third turn. And, I mean, I've even had... When I played against Storm last time with my with my uh, Soul Sister decks, I even had both games. Uh, I lost. Oh no! I, I think I did win. I won the first game just with an incredibly aggressive start that he couldn't deal with. And then the second game, I sided in the lane line of Sanctities. And second second game and third game, I was able to opening hand lay line of Sanctities to where he can't target me, and he still went off third turn with. And just dug until he got an Echoing Truth. Echoing Truth, my Ley Line, and Grape shot me both games. And it was third turn both games that that happened with the Goblin Electromancers. And, yeah, it was just, just crazy, crazy speed that Storm has now with Goblin Electromancers. But I wanted to play that out. I think it would have been fun to actually use my Prowl Guy next turn and <laughs> uh, get rid of three Grape Shots out of his deck, probably. I probably would have. Maybe he saw that. Maybe that's what he saw with his Gitaxian probe. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm 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 squealing like a little girl here because uh I won with my rogue deck. My my literal rogue rogue deck. So this is Kevin from roguedeckbuilder.com. Thanks for watching.